Hello, this is CC Cycle 2, week 18. We are already done with our third quarter. Wow, great work everyone. Wrapping it up, this is our last week until we start our next last quarter of the year. Okay, so starting with math, the area of a triangle. So the area of a triangle equals one half the base of the triangle times the height. So area of a triangle equals one half base times height. And we're keeping with our same tune. So this week it's the area of a triangle equals one half base times height. These formulas help us get geometry just right. And that's continuing from our tune from the last couple weeks with the area of a rectangle, the area of a square, and now the area of a triangle. Then we have English, five cases of nouns. And for that, we, um, I, I wanna say it's from Autumn Turner on YouTube, but uh, we have a song. So, I said there's five kinds of nouns. 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 Subject, direct object, indirect object. Subject, direct object, indirect object. Object of the preposition, object of the preposition, possessive, possessive. And we just repeat that. We're doing the echo back and forth. For English, there's five cases of nouns. Subject, direct object, indirect object, object of the preposition, possessive. Okay, for history, we have tell me about the United Nations. So. Um, in 1945, after the League of Nations failed to present or prevent World War II, American President Roosevelt, and then we have British Prime Minister um, Churchill and Soviet Premier Stalin began the United Nations. So, in 1945, after the League of Nations failed to prevent World War II, American President Roosevelt, British Prime Minister Churchill, Soviet Premier Stalin, began the United Nations. All right. Spiral, do you mind helping keep the table still because it's getting a little shaky. That might make people queasy. Okay, for Latin, we have our bunny. Our bunny's in town. So remember from last week, people used to ask her, do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? And Bo the bunny got her name because at that point she decided, you know what? In the future, I would really like to have a bow. So, she got herself a bow, and she changed her tune to Bo bis bit, bimis bitis bunt, Bo bis bit, bimis bitis bunt, first conjugation, first conjugation, future tense, future tense. So people started calling her Bo, but she thought it would be even better if she got a bigger bow in the future, and then people could sing with her. So she got a bigger bow and then now we can all sing with her bow bis bit bimis bitis bunt first conjugation future tense all right that is latin okay for timeline we have the cherokee take our feather and we go from here to here cherokee trail of tears so we're drawing tears down our face cherokee trail of tears and we have the U.S. westward expansion. And this is for like north, south, east, or north, south, east, west. So we're taking our west, moving it to the west. Okay, then we have Marx publishes the Communist Manifesto. So that, well, we're going to do this as the sign for communist and the manifesto. So we're writing it out. Then we have the compromise, same sign as last time. So the compromise of 1850 and the Dred Scott decision. So we're just gonna do the sign for slavery. And then we have U.S. restores trade with Japan. So the U.S. restores trade. So we're gonna go back and forth for trading with Japan. And 
the same side for Japan. And then we have British Queen Victoria's rule over India. And then Darwin publishes The Origin of Species. And that is our timeline. Okay, for Europe, we are going to our map and we're going to continue our song from last week. So we had um, Bingo was his name, Mo, and he traveled through European countries. He went th um, through Central European countries, and I'll just start from last week. Netherlands and Belgium, Luxembourg, Germany, Austria, I mean, Luxembourg, Germany. Uh, where am I? Restart. Okay, he went through Central European countries. Netherlands and Belgium, Luxembourg, Germany, Switzerland, and then this week we're going to Italy, Austria, Hungary, Czechia, Slovakia. So we have Italy, Austria, Hungary, Czechia, and Slovakia. And that is our tune. And then last but not least, we have science. What is Newton's third law of motion? So, he took a ball. Newton's third law of motion states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So, Newton's third law of motion states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Newton's third law of motion. So, we took a ball and we, I bounced it really softly and the ball bounced soft off the table. But when I apply more force behind my bounce, if I do it harder, the ball, I ask the question, will the ball bounce soft again or will the reaction be in kind to how hard I threw it? And obviously, the reaction is that the ball bounces much higher. So we bounce the ball on the table. Um, then we also sang through the song several times using a pendulum motion for every action has an opposite or equal reaction. And that is all of our uh, memory work for CC Cycle 2, week 18. Um, excited to see you guys at the start of next quarter and hope you guys have a great break. If you have any questions, let me know. Bye!